great American rap resurrect. Rest in peace, young ass. Young ass. Born live on the live Social facilitation is the theory that people have a tendency to perform better on tasks that are simple or well-learned with the presence of an audience. There are many different forms of audiences. These include a positive active audience, negative active audience, passive audience, and a co-actor. A common misconception is that the theory works on every task, but in actuality, if the person performing the task is not good at or familiar with it, they will perform worse in the presence of others. The theory of social facilitation was first discovered by Norman Triplett. In 1898, he hypothesized that the presence of others boosts performance in his article titled The Dynamogenic Factors in Pacemaking and Competition in the American Journal of Psychology. He had tested his theory by constructing an experiment in which cyclists were timed alone and then again in the presence of other cyclists. The results indicated that the cyclists had faster times in the presence of others. Norman Triplett's theory was proven by other psychologists who created similar experiments and added on to the theory. These psychologists include Gordon Alport and Robert Zajunk. Alport retested Triplett's theory by conducting an experiment in which people were told to write as many words as they could in the presence of others, but they were told not to compete. The results showed that the people performed better when they were with people who were performing the same activity. In 1969, Robert Zajunk conducted an experiment in which cockroaches were timed running through a simple maze and a complex maze. The roaches ran through each maze alone and again in the presence of other cockroaches. The results showed that having an audience improved performance in the simple maze, whereas having an audience decreased performance in the complex maze. Zajunk hypothesized that the presence of others increases arousal which facilitates dominant, well-learned responses, but inhibits performances on more difficult tasks. Arousal and performance are keys to social facilitation. Psychologists Robert M. Yerkes and John Dodson found a correlation between arousal and performance in their Yerkes-Dodson law. The law states that as arousal increases, performance increases until it reaches a certain peak. After the peak, performance begins to decrease. This law is in agreement with social facilitation because when an individual is good at a task, they will not experience a high level of arousal and perform better in the presence of others. Individuals who are not skilled at the task experience a higher level of arousal and pressure when in the presence of people causing their performance to decrease. Here we have our expert, Dr. John F. Murray and professional tennis player Vince Padilla discussing social facilitation and the effects of a positive active audience. Talk about the second round at Wimbledon where Vince got the crowd going for him against uh, Igor Andre from I didn't get Russia. Too, uh, you know, theatrical. I just went out and said, come on crowd, that was a great shot. And I you know, kind of yelled out to them and they responded, you know. I think we and call that social facilitation or the audience effect, which is the improvement of performance with the greater number of onlookers. And that's one of the oldest studies in sports psychology. When, have you, when in your career have you found that the audience has helped you the most? If you think back to your 18 playing years on the tour, what well, can you I mean, think of? I just think, you know, innately you look at my tournaments in Delray Beach and in mm -hmm. Miami where I'm from right. there. Keep a scan, you made the semifinals there a few years ago. Actually, a number of supporters there, and I feel good. At Wimbledon, the positive active audience there helped improve Vince's performance because it increased his arousal level to the optimal level. To test the social facilitation theory, we conducted an experiment where the participants were tested on how long it took to perform the simple task of stacking cups. First, the participants were placed alone and their time was recorded on how long they took to construct and deconstruct the 3x6x3 stack. After three trials, the participants were placed in a room with a positive active audience and had to perform three more trials. A positive active audience yelled words of encouragement. After testing 25 participants, we observed that the average cup stacking time for each person decreased with the presence of an audience. Therefore, our results support the social facilitation theory because they indicate that performance of the simple task will improve with the presence of an audience.